In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install tiles for your roof. All right, now, before we start installing tiles, what we have to do is mark out chalk lines across our roof to make sure that our tiles are installed straight and in a nice pattern. Now, there's two ways of doing this. Uh, you can measure it out, and what you want to do, because every tile is a little bit different, is we're marking to the top of the tile. Now, you're measuring from the top. You're not measuring all the way down. You have to take the overlap of the tile into account. So every tile is shaped a little bit different. These tiles are built to have this section as an overlap. So it's a one inch overlap, actually, yeah, pretty much a one inch overlap on the bottom. So you can see it's 16 inch exposure. So we're gonna measure 16 inches from up here and mark a line. The other way of doing it is you can align this tile. You can see that this groove is built for the tile eave riser. So you can see that, we can just make a mark right here. Then we can come here and make another mark here and we can just snap a line between these two. So you can see here, this is a groove in the tile and we're aligning this with the eave riser so it sits nice and snug and just locks into place. So as you can see, this measures 16 inches from the back of the eave riser, 16 and a quarter from the front of it. We're going to be using our chalk line. You can use whatever color you like, generally we like to go with red as it's easily visible. And now we have our clean line so we know what to install towards. And what we want to do is go up the roof at this point and mark out all our chalk lines. Now you don't have to do it in the entirety. You can just do at least five to 10 rows, enough for you to work. If it's gonna take you days to do work on this project, it's probably best that you don't chalk it all at one time so that it doesn't get worn off. Um, another reason that it's easy to do it now is because you don't have the tiles loaded on your roof. Generally what we do is we'll mark out all our chalk lines, then we'll load all the tiles on the roof. You can imagine if we had stacks of tiles piled up on our roof, it would be extremely difficult to draw straight lines. So it's always best to do this part prior to having the tiles loaded. All right, so we've already got our first tile installed now. What we wanna do is figure out the spacing for the rest of our tiles. This is a little bit of a complicated process and not as straightforward as you may think, as even though tiles have a recommended exposure, on this tile, it's somewhere between 13 and 13 and a half inches exposure, meaning from tile, the edge of the tile, to the top of the following tile, we want to have 13 to 14 inches. That means that there's a three to four inch overlap from tile to tile. What this allows to do is properly covering the nail heads. Now, the reason this is complicated is depending on the size of your roof, you're going to want to work that down and calculate to make sure that the last tile that you install is not a small six inch piece. So you can measure it all the way from the top um, down to here, then divide by 13 to 14. If you're not able to get a round number, then what you want to do is use your second row of tiles to offset. You can create a larger overlap, meaning you have a smaller exposure on your first tile, then go on full pieces. So we may discuss this in a different video, but you've got to figure out your exposure. For this demonstration purposes, I'm going to use a 13 and a half inch exposure here. Meaning I've got 13 and a half inches from this line to my following line. And that's the measurement I'm gonna use going all the way up. So now that I've determined that we're gonna use 13 and a half inches, what we're gonna do is just move up the line here. And just for this demonstration purposes, I'm gonna do two lines. We're gonna go two rows up. So we've got our chalk line snapped and now we're ready to start installing our tiles. Usually on a real roof what will happen is we would come to the edge and again it's all about alignment. So we would measure from end to end making sure that we have relatively even pieces on both sides. We don't want to start off with a full piece here then when we end up all the way to the other side end up with a small sliver. So again you're going to do some math measure the entire length of that run and divide by the width of your tiles. Instead of having a small sliver there, it's better you cut this first tile down just a hair and you'll have an even piece on that end. Just for this demonstration purposes, I'm assuming that we're gonna install a full piece here, cut this corner down, and we'll go all the way down. 
Now the nails that we're going to be using, they're going to be electro galvanized. Do not use regular framing nails. You want to make sure you use electro galvanized or stainless steel nails, either 16D or 10D nails. And the nails that we're going to be using are going to be two and a half inches long. Actually, this is two and a quarter inch long. This is going to penetrate through the tile, go through our sheeting, and at least penetrate three eighths of an inch. You don't want to go too deep just so you don't damage anything. You want to be careful of overdriving these nails because you don't want to break the tiles. But it's as simple as that. On most jobs, you have one person laying the tiles down and one person behind them just nailing. So now that we've got our first row nailed in place already, we're ready to go with our second row. Now we've already got our line here on the top of the chalk line that we marked. That's going to guide our perpendicular rows. Now to make sure that we're going in a straight pattern, we want to stagger these exactly to half. The way we like to do it is instead of doing crazy calculations, we put two tiles next to each other and we get this line. Now we want to center this line and pretty much bring it even. So we've got six inches on this side and six and an eighth on this side. So just want to bump it a hair. Making sure that we stay aligned with the top. So again, we want to make sure that we have even spacing from here and here. And essentially every row we're going to be doing the same thing continuously going up. Alright, now I want to show you how to cut these end pieces, whether you're coming up against the wall or whether you're coming up against the dormer, wherever it is, you're going to have to cut tiles all throughout your roof. Now in this case, on our hip, we don't have our 2x2 two two installed yet, but we know exactly where it's going to go. Um, you can either do this with a measuring tape or you can just put it in place and mark out your tile. You do have the luxury, especially at your hips, to go a little bit larger because you're going to have your hip covering it about six inches on each side. So I'm going to mark one end right here and the other end right now here. And we're going to move this side and mark a straight line here with a chalk line. To cut any concrete or clay tiles we're going to be using a grinder. This is a four inch grinder. You can also use a skill saw. Really anything with a diamond tip blade. So anything that's made to cut concrete or masonry you can use. We like to use grinders as they're a little bit easier to maneuver, but you can also use a skill saw. And we're just gonna cut this. Again, it doesn't need to be a perfect cut because all your cuts are generally gonna be covered under your hips and under your ridge. All right, now that we've got this tile cut, we're ready to install. We're just going to slide this into place. And being that we already cut the preset nail holes off, now Mark already made a hole, but you just want to use a drill, an impact driver with a diamond tip. Again, it's made for masonry. You don't want to use a hammer drill, so it's going to break it. You just want to make a hole in there. So now you have something to nail against. Now there you have it, whether you're at a hip, at a ridge, or a roof to wall, the concept is the same. You're gonna be using a diamond tip blade to cut that tile to the size that you need it, use a drill to make a hole, nail it in place, and you're good to go. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and do all that good stuff. We have a bunch of other videos for tile, flat tile roof installation tutorials. If we're missing something, let us know, and we'd like to fill it out for you. Thanks for watching.